Did you know that the battle against procrastination isn't just about getting things done, it's about mastering yourself? Imagine what your life could look like if you could silence that inner voice that says, I'll do it tomorrow. What if you had the tools to cut through distractions, control your impulses and tackle every day with unwavering focus and discipline? If you want to conquer procrastination and take charge of your life, you need to understand this true mastery starts from within. In this video, we're diving deep into six powerful Stoic strategies that have helped people for centuries overcome their own limitations and unlock their fullest potential. These aren't your typical productivity hacks. These are time-tested philosophies that teach you to cultivate self-discipline harness a warrior's mindset, and ultimately rise above the urges that hold you back. So, if you're ready to face procrastination head-on and reclaim control over your time and energy, stick around. These secrets could be the turning point in your journey to a life of purpose, resilience, and achievement. Number 1. Master the dichotomy of control. Imagine how much lighter you'd feel if the weight of worry just rolled off your shoulders. Like, what if you could simply let go of the stress that holds you back from doing things that matter? Picture yourself waking up and feeling genuinely clear-headed, aware of exactly what needs to be done without getting pulled in ten different directions. That's not some lofty, unattainable state. It's what mastering the stoic concept of the dichotomy of control can help you achieve. The dichotomy of control is simple, yet profoundly liberating. At its core, it's the recognition that there are things within our control and things beyond it. It may sound basic, but how often do we get wrapped up in things outside our influence? The fear of other people's opinions, the uncertainty of future outcomes, or the need for everything to be perfect. We chase after control in places where it simply doesn't exist wasting precious time and energy. By dividing the world into what we can change and what we can't, Stoicism teaches us to invest in areas where our actions matter and detach from outcomes that lie beyond our reach. Think back to a time when you were fixated on achieving something, maybe getting a promotion or winning someone's approval. You likely spent endless hours strategizing, rethinking every step, and perhaps stressing over what would happen if you failed. Maybe you succeeded, or maybe you didn't. But was all that stress necessary? Reflecting on it now, you might even feel that time was somewhat wasted. Stoicism reminds us that in focusing on what we can control, our efforts, our responses, we can perform better, not just by reducing stress, but by becoming effective and resilient individuals. Curiously, when we start practicing this dichotomy, we open ourselves up to a new type of freedom. We can't control if our work gets recognized, but we can control the quality of the work we put in. We can't force someone to feel a certain way about us, but we can control how we treat them. By anchoring ourselves to our actions and letting go of the rest, we transform every moment into an opportunity for growth. Imagine all that you could achieve if you truly freed yourself from the weight of worrying about things you'll never control. What could you accomplish if you only focused on what lies within your own hands? Number 2. Tame the Demon of Desire Now, imagine yourself walking through a store, glancing at the latest gadgets, or scrolling through social media, tempted by images of luxury, wealth, and the endless things we're made to believe we need. It's fun, isn't it, thinking about the possibilities? But how often have you ended up buying something only to feel a bit hollow afterward? We live in a world where desire constantly pulls us from one thing to the next, and if left unchecked, it can trap us in an endless cycle of wanting without ever finding true satisfaction. Desire is one of the most insidious forms of distraction and a major source of procrastination. When you're constantly pursuing the next thrill 
the next possession, or even the next big break, your mind becomes scattered and your attention divided. Stoicism teaches that unrestrained desire is a poison to progress. Instead of helping us feel fulfilled, desire creates anxiety, pulling our focus away from what we truly value. The Stoics believed that by mastering our desires, we free ourselves from an endless chase, allowing us to focus on our goals without the need for constant validation or material gain. Take a moment to think back to something you once wanted intensely, something you just couldn't stop thinking about. A new phone, perhaps, or a specific job. At the time, it felt like you couldn't be happy without it, right? But here you are, years later, likely not thinking about it at all. This is the nature of desire, it's fleeting. Once you obtain the object of your desire, the feeling fades and you're left searching for the next thing. Nostalgia can often help us see through the illusions of desire. By looking back, we realize how little those old wants actually matter in the grand scheme of things. Now consider this, if you could tame this demon of desire, if you could recognize and resist those impulses, how would that change your life? What goals could you finally focus on without being sidetracked by the need for immediate pleasure or validation? Think about how much clearer, how much simpler your life could be if you weren't always reaching for the next shiny object. The Stoics understood that by mastering desire, we regain our focus and take back our energy to use on the things that truly bring us fulfillment. Number three, live in the present moment. Imagine a world where you're completely engaged with what's happening now. You're no longer replaying past conversations in your mind or worrying about how things will unfold tomorrow. You're fully absorbed in what's right in front of you, in the sights, sounds and sensations of the present moment. Living this way, with total focus on the now, brings a sense of calm and clarity that's incredibly powerful and rare. Most of us drift through life, caught between memories of the past and anxieties about the future, rarely pausing to appreciate the present. The Stoics were masters of living in the present moment. They taught that dwelling on the past or fretting about the future only serves to sap our energy. Why should we waste our time on what we cannot change? By focusing on the present, we can take control of our actions and make the most of every moment. Living in the present doesn't mean ignoring the future or being reckless. It means directing our energy to what's happening right now, because this moment is the only one we truly have. Think back to a time when you were completely engrossed in something, a deep conversation, a gripping book, or even an exciting trip. In those moments, you weren't thinking about what you had to do later or regretting something that happened yesterday. You were simply there, present, and fully alive. It's these moments that often stay with us the longest. But how often do we miss out on them because we're too busy worrying or checking our phones? Looking back, you might even feel a pang of nostalgia for those moments where you felt truly present. What if you could bring that sense of presence to your everyday life? Imagine how much more you could accomplish, how much richer your relationships could be if you lived in the here and now. Think of the focus and peace you'd have if you weren't constantly distracted by past regrets or future worries. The Stoics believed that by anchoring ourselves to the present, we build a foundation of resilience, focus and joy. What could you achieve if you practiced living fully in each moment? Number four, cultivate self-discipline. Self-discipline is a quality that feels like a superpower when we manage to unlock it. Think about how incredible it feels on those rare days when you follow through with every goal you've set for yourself. Maybe you wake up early, go for a run, finish a big project at work, or stick to a new habit you've been meaning to build. There's this exhilarating sense of control, of proving to yourself that you're capable of so much more than you often give yourself credit for. The essence of self-discipline lies in one simple yet powerful idea. 
consistently doing what's necessary even when you don't feel like it. The Stoics understood this idea as the backbone of a meaningful life. For them, discipline was less about forcing yourself to do things you hate and more about aligning your actions with your deepest values. It's not about grinding every day without end. It's about showing up for yourself because you believe you're worth the effort. Imagine for a moment the impact of cultivating discipline on a daily level. Waking up each morning with a sense of purpose, knowing you can tackle whatever life throws your way because you've built a foundation of resilience. Discipline starts with the small things, choosing to stick to a routine, committing to habits, or taking a few moments each day for reflection. The power of this approach lies in its cumulative effect. Every small disciplined act adds up, creating a ripple that transforms you over time. Think back to the times you may have struggled to stick with a goal or a commitment. Maybe it was the classic New Year's resolution that lasted a couple of weeks, or a fitness journey that got abandoned when motivation faded. Almost everyone has those memories of great intentions cut short. These experiences serve as reminders that while motivation can spark the fire, it's discipline that keeps it burning. The beauty of Stoic philosophy is that it offers practical wisdom for bridging that gap. Epictetus once said, No man is free who is not master of himself. By disciplining ourselves, we free ourselves from the chains of procrastination, doubt and fleeting desires. To build discipline, consider starting small. Rather than overhauling your entire routine, focus on one or two small commitments you can stick to daily. It could be a morning walk, setting aside time for learning, or writing down three things you're grateful for each night. By mastering small habits, you'll be training your mind and body to embrace discipline. As these small steps become natural, you'll find yourself with the strength to tackle bigger goals. Remember, the Stoics didn't strive for discipline for its own sake. They sought it as a pathway to personal freedom. With every act of discipline, we're giving ourselves a vote of confidence, a sign that we believe in our potential to rise above procrastination and inertia. Number five, embrace the Stoic mindset. Embracing the Stoic mindset is like unlocking a secret weapon against procrastination. In a world full of distractions, it's easy to feel scattered, constantly pulled in multiple directions by demands and desires. The Stoics, however, believed in a life grounded in purpose and intentionality. They saw challenges not as obstacles, but as opportunities to grow, to practice resilience and to refine their character. When you adopt this perspective, procrastination begins to lose its hold. At its core, the Stoic mindset teaches us to focus on what we can control and let go of what we can't. How often do we get caught up worrying about outcomes, situations or other people's opinions? When our minds are cluttered with these distractions, it's easy to put off tasks, feeling overwhelmed by what's beyond our control. But imagine if you could filter out that noise and focus solely on what's within your power. This is the essence of Stoic thought. Now picture yourself in situations where this mindset could be a game changer. Let's say you have an intimidating project at work. Instead of stressing about how others might perceive your performance or fearing failure, imagine directing all that energy into what you can control your preparation your effort and your attitude. The Stoics would argue that this is where true freedom lies, in our ability to align our actions with our values, regardless of external pressures. It's natural to feel nostalgic for a time when life felt simpler, perhaps when we were younger and decisions didn't carry the weight they do now. Back then, we may not have worried about self-improvement or productivity, we simply did what needed to be done. As adults, embracing the stoic mindset can help us return to that straightforward approach, cutting through the complexities we create for ourselves and focusing on the essentials. 
It's about adopting a mindset that, instead of obsessing over results, emphasizes commitment to the process. Incorporating the stoic mindset into your life doesn't require an overhaul. Start by questioning your thoughts. Ask yourself, is this within my control? If the answer is no, then practice the stoic art of letting go. It takes time, but with practice you'll notice a remarkable change in how you approach tasks. You'll feel more grounded, less prone to procrastination, and more focused on the work that truly matters. Each time you choose action over inaction, you're reinforcing a powerful shift, slowly rewiring your brain to value presence over passivity. Number 6. Adopt the Warrior's Mindset Against procrastination, there's a part of us that yearns to take on challenges, that craves a fight against the forces holding us back. In the battle against procrastination, adopting the warrior's mindset can be transformative. This isn't about aggression or brute force, it's about embodying a quiet, unbreakable resolve. A warrior doesn't seek out conflict, but is always ready to face it. When you approach procrastination with this mindset, you're acknowledging that resistance will arise, but you're prepared to meet it head on. Imagine waking up each day with the warrior's spirit. You've got tasks to tackle, goals to reach, and there's a strong part of you that's ready to rise to the occasion. With this mindset, you're not waiting for inspiration or motivation. You're choosing to show up, to embrace the discomfort, because you know the satisfaction that follows a hard-won victory. Every time you resist the pull of procrastination, you're strengthening your resolve, building a resilience that makes you unstoppable. We all have memories of times when we've shown that warrior spirit, moments we've pushed through when giving up would have been easier. Maybe it was staying up late to complete an important project or tackling a workout that felt impossible at the start. These experiences remind us that we have the capacity to persevere, to fight through resistance when it matters most. Nostalgia for these moments can be a source of strength. When you remember the times you've conquered your own doubts, you're reminded that the warrior within you is real and that you have everything you need to defeat procrastination. To adopt the warrior's mindset, practice embracing discomfort. The warrior knows that growth doesn't come from taking the easy route. The same is true in our battle against procrastination. When you encounter resistance, the temptation to put things off, to delay, view it as your battleground. Each time you choose to act instead of avoiding, you're sharpening your inner strength. It's a powerful shift from avoiding hardship to embracing it as the path to growth. Adopting this mindset doesn't mean you'll never procrastinate again. It's about transforming your relationship with procrastination. You're not letting it control you instead. You're meeting it with the determination of a warrior. You're seeing every small task, every mundane to do as part of a larger journey. When you bring this energy into your daily life, you'll find that procrastination loses its grip. It's no longer an invisible force holding you back. It's a challenge you're ready to face over and over as you build the life you truly want. You've made it to the end, which already puts you miles ahead. Most people let procrastination win, but not you. You've shown commitment and a drive to change. Now it's time to take what you've learned here and put it into action. Remember, these Stoic principles aren't just for show, they're tools to help you build the life you want, one step at a time. Each day you apply these strategies, you're chiseling away at the barriers holding you back. If you're part of the 0.01% who actually finish what they start, drop a hundred in the comments to let us know you're here for the long haul. And if you're serious about transforming your life, don't forget to subscribe and join our channel. Together, we're building a community of people ready to rise above procrastination and create real change.